Good morning, everybody. Welcome to circuit training. Circuit training, we do a series of eight exercises, and we do those for three rounds. So let's go through the first series of eight exercises. First, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a weight. Uh, we're going to do a dumbbell curl and front press. So I would say five pounds is about right for your weight. What we're going to do is we're going to stand up tall, hold the ends of the weight. You're going to curl up to your chest. Don't lean back. You got to tighten your stomach. You're just going to extend out in front of you. As soon as your arms, you can go all the way out if you can. If you don't feel that good about it, you can stop sooner. Pull it in, then we curl it down. Then we curl it up, tighten your core, extend it out. Okay? So let's hold on to the ends of the weight. Give yourself a good base with your feet. We're going three, two, one. Curl up, tight core, extend it out, bring it in. You're going to curl it down. We're going to curl it back up. Tighten your core, extend it out. Just hold that rhythm. We go 40 seconds on each round. Doing good, make sure you don't lean back. Make sure you tighten your core. All right, I don't want your back to have to hold any of that weight. You're gonna tighten your abs, extend it out. We got one more to go. Good, all right, you can place the weight down. We don't need it for the next one. If you wanna grab a spot on a wall, we're gonna do a wall sit for the second exercise. I'll give you time to go find a good space. If you don't have a good wall, you can always just do a round of squats wherever you are, just in some free space. If you got a wall, let's get our back against the wall, walk the feet out in front of us. We're gonna slide down so the knees are over the ankles and we're gonna hold it, all right? So let's go in three, two, one, slide down with me, hold it, push through your heels, and just keep holding it. Make sure your ankles are under your knees. That way we don't have any extra pressure on the knees. All right, all your weights right through the heels. Try to have your eyes up too, if you can have your head up, maybe against the wall if you can get your head back. You got 15 seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and you can slide up. We'll come back to the front. You don't need another weight. You don't need a weight for this one also. This one you can do in free space. You can hold on to a wall if you would like to. It's a two-part exercise. So we're going to take the right leg. We're going to kick out. We bring it back in, and then we do a high knee. So we go kick out. High knee to the front. We're gonna do the right leg, so I want everyone to do your right leg on this round. Again, hold on to something if you want to, but you also don't have to, and here we go. Kick out, try not to lean your torso so much. You're gonna stand up nice and tall. And just hold that rhythm. Try to keep those toes facing forward on the kick. And you're gonna get that knee out in front on the high knee part. Do your right leg, you're already halfway there. Don't tilt your body, stand up tall, tighten your core. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can take a pause right there. Next up, we're gonna grab a set of weights. I would say five pounds is kind of a maximum. We're gonna do a curl, squat, and press. So. If you've done this class before, we've done this in this class. If you, if you have a shoulder injury, skip the press part. You can just do a curl and a squat. But let me show you what one looks like. You're going to curl your shoulders. Then we do a squat. We stand up. We press overhead. We bring them back to the shoulders, and we bring the weights down. We curl them up. We squat. We press overhead, okay? So let's get a good base. And here we go. Curl up to the shoulders. Do a squat. Stand up, press in the air, bring the weights back to your shoulders, curl the weights down. Curl the weights up to the shoulders, squat, stand all the way up, press up, back to the shoulders, curl it down. Curl it up, squat, curl, squat, press. Good, we're already halfway there. Okay, 
you're good. Let's go one more, one more curl, one more squat, one more press. Good. All right, let's grab our weights and we're actually gonna do the second half of these exercises on the ground. So we've got four ground exercises. So bring your weights on down to the ground. I'm gonna show you what the first one is. As you get down, you get comfortable. We're gonna do an overhead pullover. It's for the back, chest, and core. We're gonna do bent knees, weights go up in the air, we click together, we go slowly up overhead, and then we pull the weights back to the top. Go back up overhead slowly, and back to the top, all right? So I'll give you about 10, 15 seconds to get set up. You can lay in your back, grab your weights, you can rest them right on your torso. We're going five seconds, bent knees. All right, let's go straight up in the air with the weights, click them together. And here we go, slowly up overhead, back to the top. Slowly up overhead, back to the top. Good, keep the pace slow. If your shoulders don't let you bring the weights to the ground, I wouldn't force it. You can just stop a little bit sooner. Using your core, keeping the core nice and tight. Good, we got two more. Here's one. And here's two. Good, bring the weights in. We can place those weights off to the side. Next exercise we're gonna do is a bird dog. So a bird dog is an opposite arm and leg extension. So we go hands and knees. I'm gonna go left hand, right leg when I extend out. You bring those down and then we go right arm, left leg. So we're just gonna go back and forth with a nice long extension. See if you can get that arm and leg all the way out as far as you can. All right, so go hands and knees. We're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Extend it out. Pull it back. Nice and slow. Work on balance. Okay. Opposite arm, opposite leg. See how far you can get that arm and leg out. Good. We got 15 seconds to go on this one. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, and you can take a pause. You're gonna line a side, so line your left side so your right leg is on top. We're going to do a side knee tuck. So a side leg raise, knee tuck. So we're gonna take that top leg, we lift up, we take that knee, we're gonna pull it to the front, extend it back out, Bring it back down. We bring it back up. Tuck that knee forward. Straighten it out and bring it down. Okay. So lay your left side so your right leg's on top. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Lift up. Tuck in. Extend it out. Bring it down. Lift up. Tuck in. Straighten it out. Bring it down. Hold that rhythm. Keep your pace. Yep, you can lift that leg as high as you can with the toes facing forward. You don't want the toes facing up at the ceiling. You got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, you can take a break right there. We got one more to go in this first round. You're gonna lay on your back. It's like a bird dog, it's gonna be the opposite. This is a dead bug. So instead of our hands and knees, we're gonna lay in our back. The legs come up. We go opposite arm, opposite leg. Pull back to the top. Opposite arm, opposite leg, back to the top. And we just go back and forth between those two. All right. So let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Straighten them out. Bring it back in, go to the other side, opposite arm, opposite leg. 
You can let your arm and leg go as far down to the ground as you feel comfortable with. Just know that the lower you go with your arm and your leg, the harder it's going to be. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. You can take a pause and come on back up. We'll take our first break. Grab a drink and we'll go around two in about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. All right, let's go round two. First thing we're going to need is one single weight. <clears throat> this is going to be our dumbbell curl and front press. So you're going to hang on to the ends, stand up tall, curl to the front, tighten your core, straighten the arms out, bring it in, and then we curl down, okay? All right, here we go. Go ahead, curl up. Don't lean back. Pull it back in, curl down, curl up, straighten it out, pull it in. Good, don't lean back, keep your abs tight. If you do that and you stand up tall, you'll be good. You can always stop short rather than going all the way out if you don't feel like you can reach all the way out with straight arms. We've got 10 seconds. Two, one, good. Take a pause right there. No weight needed for the next one. We have our wall set. We go back against the wall. If you don't have a good spot in a wall, you're just gonna do a series of squats. If you got a good wall, we'll do a wall set. You walk your feet nice and far out in front. We slide down, eyes up, and we push into the heels, okay? Let's go in five, four, three, Two, we'll start at 40 seconds, here we go. 40 second hold, all your weights shifted through your heels. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come on back up. We'll come back to the front. If you need to hold on to a wall, you can for the next one. This is going to be our left leg. We're going to do our left leg, side leg kick with a high knee. Side leg kick, high knee. So you're just going to go left leg only. Try not to tilt with your upper body. And hold on to something if you would like to. Three, two, one. Here we go. Kick out. Go up. Yep, and just go back and forth, out and up. Try to keep in your toes facing forward. Good, we got 10 seconds to go. Two, one, good, pause right there. I would grab a lighter set of weights on this one. This is gonna be our curl, our curl, our squat, and then our overhead press. We curl, squat, Overhead press, okay? I'm just going to put my weights down for it. I'll still do the motion with you to start. All right. Good face with your legs. Let's go in three, two, one. Curl it up to your shoulders. Squat. Stand up. And press it. Back to the shoulders. Curl it down. Curl up. 
Squat. Stand up. Press up. Takes a little focus. Doing good. Hold your rhythm. Keep going. If you lose your rhythm, just start from scratch. Curl. Squat with it. Press it. We're going to go one more curl, one more squat, one more press. Good. And when you're done that, we'll make our way down to the ground. Bring your weights with you. I'm just going to show you as you get coming down, you're going to bring your weights in. We're going to do overhead pullover for our first one, just like the first round we did. Tight core, slowly up overhead with the weights. We're going about 10 seconds. Grab your weights, lay on your back. Give yourself some bent knees. All right, let's go up in the air with the weights. Here we go, slowly overhead. Back to the top, slowly overhead. Do it with a nice slow pace. If we go quick, we can hurt the shoulders. It's going to be too much pressure on your shoulders. We got to go slow on this one. Last one right here. Okay, you can bring the weights in, place those off to the side. Next up, we're gonna to face towards the ground, go hands and knees, this is a bird dog. Bird dog is an opposite arm and an opposite leg extension. And we go back and forth each side, okay? So, go facing the ground, hands and knees. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Extend it out, bring it in. Extend it out, bring it in, nice and slow. Work on your balance, try to get a nice extension with your arm and your leg. We got 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We can lot come you can come on down laying your right side so your left leg is on top. Okay. We have our side leg raise with the front knee tuck. Extending that leg out. Bringing that leg down. Keep your toes forward and then tucking the knee in. All right? Let's do this one in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Lift up. Tuck in. Straighten out. Bring the leg down. Lift up. Tuck in. Straighten out. Bring it down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Relax that leg and turn to your backside. One more in this round, and then we'll take our second break. We have our dead bug. This is bent knees, arms up in the air, opposite arm, opposite leg straightening out. And then we go other arm, other leg straightening out. We just go back and forth between those two. We're going to do this one in five seconds. So start with your hands in the air, legs pull up. Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay. 
Yep, the lower you go with the arm and the leg, the, hop, the harder it's going to be. So I'll leave that up to you. The higher you go with the arm and the leg, the easier it's going to be. So pick something that's challenging, but not too much. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, let's take our second break. Grab a drink. We'll take about 30 seconds, and then we'll do our third and final round through. All right, let's do our third round. Grab a single weight. Hold the ends. This is our curl with a front press. Okay? Give yourself a good base. Eyes up, good posture. Let's not have the eyes down. Head up. Tighten your core. And here we go. Curl up. Extend it out slowly. If you can straighten your arms, great. If you don't feel like you can go that far out, you can always stop a little shorter. Okay? Just keep going. Make sure you keep your core tight. Don't lean back. That'll protect your lower back and make us work the core. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, you can lose those weights. Let's grab a spot in a wall, or you can just get set up first doing some wall um, squats. You're gonna do a wall sit or squat. Wall sit, make sure your feet are nice and wide. Your feet walk far out from the wall. Back against the wall, eyes up. And here we go, let's slide down, hold it. Try to push all your weight through your heels, not your toes, that's gonna protect the knees. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slide up. Okay, we're going to come back to the front. You don't need a weight. We're going to split this one in half. So we're going to go side leg kick, high knee, and then halfway we'll go the other leg, side leg kick, high knee. So pick a leg, doesn't matter which one. And three, two, one, go ahead, side leg kick, high knee. Yeah, I'll let you know halfway. Just do one leg for now. And change legs. Kick out, high knee. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Let's grab our set of weights. I would say five pounds or less just because of the overhead press part. It doesn't take much weight. This is going to be our curl, squat, press. So if you lose your rhythm, just think curl, then squat, and then press it. Okay? So good wide base. And here we go. We're going to curl it. We're going to squat with it. And then we're going to press it. Bring it back down. Curl it. Squat with it. Press it. Bring the waist down. Curl it. Squat. Press. Good. Already passed halfway. Let's go one more. Curl, squat, press. 
Good, and when you've done your one, let's go down to the ground, bring your weights with you. Last round through, we're gonna start with an overhead full over. So lie on your back, bent knees, weights go up in the air, you click them together, slowly up overhead, and then we pull back to the top. All right, so let's go in three, two, one, go ahead, keep the weights touching each other. I don't want them separated. That just gives you a higher chance of injury to your shoulder. You're gonna click them together, gives you more stability. Do it nice and slowly. All right, we got two more to go. Here's one. Last one. Pull the weights in, place those off to the side. All right, we got three to go. We're gonna go hands and knees. Bird dog, we go opposite arm, opposite leg, extending it out, and then we go other arm, other leg, okay? You do hands and knees. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, opposite arm, opposite leg. And then other arm, other leg. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. You're going to turn to a side. We're going to do a side leg raise with a knee tuck. And then bring it down, back up, side knee tuck. Okay, so pick you the leg, it doesn't matter because we're gonna swap halfway. And here we go, lift up, tuck in, straighten the leg out, bring the leg down. Lift up, tuck in, straighten the leg out, bring the leg down. Good, change size, change legs. And go ahead. Last one right here, lift up, tuck in. Good, all right, let's lay on our back. Last exercise. This is our dead bug. We're gonna lay on our back, bent knees, arms go up in the air, and then we do a opposite arm, opposite leg extension, just like a bird dog, only difference is instead of facing the ground, we're on our back, okay? Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Try to do it slowly. If you extend further to the ground, it's gonna be harder. Just make sure you protect your back. You don't want your back to arch off the ground a lot. We're already halfway through. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and you can relax. All right, thank you for coming to class, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a nice weekend.